Hey guys and welcome back to Way of Yao. If you're not already a part of the family then make sure to hit that subscribe button and if you like this video make sure to hit that like button. All of the products and brushes used in this video will be in the description bar and you're probably looking at me thinking why is Yao slaying so hard? And the reason is it's my birthday hunty. I am officially two decades old. So I hope you guys are living for this look. If you want to know how to achieve it, then make sure to stay till the end of this video and we shall slay together. See ya. So as you can see, my eyebrows are already applied. For that, I just used a sleek eyebrow pencil and to conceal around them, I used my LA Girl Pro Concealers in the shade Dark Cocoa and Espresso. And I have my tape applied as this is gonna help, you know, the cut crease to look a lot sharper at the end of the look. So to start off, I'm going to prep my eyelids using the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Medium Beige. I'm now going to blend that concealer out with a sponge. Now to set that concealer and to create a perfect base for the eyeshadows, I'm going to use my translucent powder from Collection and my Morphe M438 brush to apply that. Now to create my new crease, I'm gonna be using the NYX eyeshadow in the shade Raven and just a angled brush that I got from H&M. So I'm just gonna place it above my natural like crease, which is like there. Gonna keep my eyes open so I can see where it would sit when I'm looking at somebody or when my eyes are fully open. I'm living and now I'm gonna curve it out. I don't know why, but this eye is always messier than this eye. I'm just going to connect the inner part now. So now we're going to diffuse that black using the lightest blue we're going to use. We're going to use this high pigment eyeshadow from Kiko in the shade 68 and just a pointy brush that I got from Sleek just to diffuse that line a bit and spread that blue and really like smoke it out a bit. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my Morphe M514 fluffy brush with a tiny bit of the product on the end and I'm just gonna diffuse that blue we've just placed down. Just to help blend out the edges and to really smoke it out a bit more. I feel as though the lines can get a little bit lost so what I like to do is take a little bit more of that black eyeshadow and define the line again. Now I'm going to be taking this really nice blue from Inglot. This is the 307 and my Kiko 211 eyes brush to smudge out the lime. If you find that the two sides start to look different, it's fine because when you cut the crease at the end, you are going to make sure that the crease shape is defined and identical. I'm going to take a little bit more of that first blue just to diffuse the edges a bit and to make sure that it doesn't get lost. I'm going to redefine that line one more time. Finally, to diffuse that line, I'm going to take my Kiko High Pigment Shadow in the shade 57 and back in with that pointy brush just to go right along that line. So to cut my crease, I'm going to use the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot and my Kiko Eyes 212 brush. Do you know what? I've never used this brush before to cut the crease and I've decided that I'm going to switch the brush. Uh, this is not the one. I'm going to use the Kiko 210 Eyes brush instead as it's a lot finer, a lot thinner and it's going to cut the crease perfectly. So for my outer lid, I'm going to be using this water eyeshadow from Kiko in the shade 213 and I'm going to use a tiny bit of this mixing solution just to make it a bit more manoeuvrable. 
As you can see, I'm leaving a tiny little bit of a gap between the lid colour and the crease colour simply because I'm going to be putting some nice liner on there. Now that the blue is applied, I'm going to be doing the same process with the 229 also from Kiko. So with this colour, I'm going to pop it on the inner part of my lid. And in the centre, I'm just mixing the two together so that it looks a lot more blended. Now to fill in the gap between my lid and my crease, I'm going to be using a mixture of these two liners. This one is the Extreme Colour from NYX in the shade Silver and this one is from Kiko. This one is more for the coverage and this one is more for the glittery effect. If I was to use this one on its own, it'd be just a little bit too thin. So I like to go in with this one first to create a nice base for the next liner. And now I'm gonna overlap it with my second liner. Now on this tiny little brush, I'm gonna take a little bit of black shadow and I'm just gonna clean up around that liner and also give it a little bit more depth. And for now, the eyes are done. The eyes are finished. The eyes are slayed! I'm just gonna take a little bit of cleanser onto a cotton pad and I'm gonna wipe away any of the possible excess. Now to move on to the face, I'm going to be moisturising using the E45 lotion. My skin is really dehydrated so I just like to use this one. Okay, so now it's time to move on to foundation. And for foundation, recently I've been using the L'Oreal True Match in the shade Espresso 10C10R. However, this one is a little bit too light, so I like to mix it with my NYX Pro Foundation Mixer. So I'm just gonna dab it onto my skin and get that melanin pop in and even and slate. And now to buff that out, I'm gonna be using my Morphe M439 buffing brush. As you can see, my face and my neck are not matching. This is something that I like to call two-tone bitchism and if you are a two-tone bitch, you better cut it out. You better get some of that foundation and blend it onto your neck, hunty. Take a little bit down there. I don't know if you guys can see this little spot here, but like today of all days, really. I do want to give the skin a little bit of a more natural look. So I'm going to take that sponge and I'm just going to pat that onto the skin and that's just going to help to give it more of a skin like finish. Now it's time to highlight and for that, I'm going to be using the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Dark Cocoa. Now I'm gonna blend it out using the same sponge as before and this is gonna help to blend up the concealer as it already has a little bit of that previous foundation on there. That's just gonna help to, you know, blend out the edges and make it look a lot more seamless. I always start off with the chin. Now I'm gonna take my medium beige concealer just to intensify that highlight and I'm gonna place that in the very center of all. This one is a very light concealer, so you wanna use minimum. Now to set all of my highlighted areas, I'm gonna be using the Ben Nye Translucent Powder in the shade Topaz. Now I'm gonna take this like flat Kabuki brush 
from Sleek and I'm just going to pat a little bit onto my forehead. Just going to dust off the excess. Now for the rest of my face, I'm going to be using the Ben Nye Translucent Powder in the shade Topaz. I'm just going to use that to set all the places that I did not highlight. Just going to dust that on the, you know, the perimeters of my face. Now for contour, I'm gonna be using a new eyeshadow I got from Inglot. This is the 304, and I'm gonna apply it with my MAC 133 brush. <laughs> Now I don't know how well you can see that contour, but I don't think it's prominent enough. So I'm gonna go in with Shadowy Lady by MAC. This one is very dark, so it, unless you're like really dark, then don't go for it. We're gonna be taking this little triangle sponge. I'm gonna dip it in my ebony powder again. I'm just gonna place it underneath my contour. Now I'm gonna dust away that reverse contour. Now I like to put a little bit of highlight on before I use my setting spray. And then I also apply a bit more after I've used the setting spray. So I'm gonna be using the MAC Loose Pigment in the shade Tan. This is actually a tester and it is lasting me. So don't shy away from testers, that's all I'm gonna say. Gonna take my fan brush from NYX and I am going to slay my chin like there is no tomorrow. So I place a little bit on the tip of my nose and I place a little bit on my nose bridge, you know, where it just dips. And I use another finger to blend that out. And I'm gonna highlight under my brow a little bit. Now to move on to the eyes, I'm gonna be using this intense color eyeliner from Kiko. This is in the shade 12 and I'm just gonna pass this along my lower lash line. And now I'm gonna use the 307 eyeshadow from Inglot that we used on the top of the eye and I'm just gonna smoke that out into the lower lash line. To complete the eyes, I'm gonna take the two liners and extend my inner corners with them. Now for mascara, I'm gonna use the Kiko Maxi Wood Mascara. I like this one because the brush is very small and it will really elongate your lashes without any mess at all. It's perfect for the lower lash line especially. Off camera, I am going to apply the Kiko Intense Color in the shade 16 along my waterline. It's just a black eye curl, eyeliner, whatever you wanna call it. And I'll be back. It's just very hard to apply on camera. Now to move on to the lips, I'm gonna use this loose pigment from Bella Pierre. I like using really rich gold colors to place for my lip highlight. So I literally just grab a bit of highlight, plaster it over my top lip. I use another finger to blend out the slight edges. Now I'm gonna go in with my Kat Von D lipstick. This is in the shade Witches. If you know me, you know I love a matte black lipstick and this does the job for me. Fill it all in and you're good to go. I'm now gonna apply my Ardell Glamour Lashes in the style 114. And these are really dramatic, bold lashes, but as the eye makeup is quite bold and big and out there, this is gonna fit perfectly and it will not cover it up because it's so in your mother hugging face. Okay, so the lashes are on and you can see the major difference it makes to the makeup look. And we are ready to set the face. So for that, I'm gonna use the Urban Decay Chilled Setting Spray. I'm literally gonna drown in this shit, honey. Let's do it. Oh. 
So while that dries, I do go ahead and intensify the highlight on my chin. So I'm gonna take a little bit more of that MAC Loose pigment, just the nose bridge. Gonna place a tiny bit more on the cheekbones. And only for the chin, I'm gonna add a little bit of the highlight that I used on my upper lip on my chin also. That is just gonna give it that, oh my goodness. It is officially beaming. Come on, 2017. So that is the look, guys. But wait, I'm not done yet. What is a queen without her jewels? So I'm gonna add this cute little septum ring. These cute little earrings. And we are ready to slay mama. But never, ever, ever forget. Stay fresh, stay mean, stay slaying the scene, auntie. Bye guys, see you in the next one.